people frequently contact me and ask me questions, but almost all of these questions could be answered in this paper right here, the number one best resource on the topic of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and abortion is a research paper written by George Gaynor, who at the time was a chaplain at Columbia Union College, now Washington Adventist University. In April 1986, Ministry Magazine commissioned Gaynor to write a history of the Seventh-day Adventist Church's position on abortion. This research paper was later presented here at the Loma Linda International Conference on Abortion in November of 1988. People who were at the conference told me that Gaynor's paper resulted in a, quote, thunderclap and stunned response from the audience because the stories of all of the lies, cover-up, and fraud were so damaging. As you see here, a highly edited, sanitized version would later be published in the August 1991 issue of Ministry Magazine. Two years later, in 1993, another research paper was presented by Dr. Ronald Lawson at the meeting of the Society for the Scientific Study of Religion titled Pro What? Adventists and Abortion. Although it was presented in 1993, it was not made public until May 2018, and to a degree, I think that's good because it confirms a lot from Gaynor's paper and adds valuable insights to events that followed. So for over 48 years, this was basically the only paper that addressed this topic, and if you take time to read the paper, you will understand why. However, there is a very important note. The article here in Ministry Magazine has over 5,300 words, but the original unabridged paper has over 10,700 words. Over half of the paper was not published, and it's very important to take time to read what was not published. It documents and details that the entire history of abortion in our church is one of lies, cover-up, greed, fraud, and murder. I first started learning about abortion in 2015, and shortly thereafter, I came across Gaynor's paper and I read the full version and when I finished I almost fell out of my chair I like many other Adventists was absolutely shocked and devastated to learn what has happened maybe you like my videos and maybe you do not but if you care at all about the Adventist Church then how in good conscience can you ignore something this terrible this was published way back in 1991 that was almost 30 years ago and people in church leadership have continued to try to hide and ignore this issue and look at the result it has only continued to get worse this entire history is a complete fraud and it's completely evil and that's why church leaders in North America and the GC are on the record having lied to the church and lied to the world and doing everything that they could to suppress this issue and silence anyone that was talking about it. The original paper is titled The Wisdom of Solomon or The Politics of Pragmatism, the GC Abortion Decision 1970-71. Please do not read this online. Please download and print this out on paper and take time to read through it slowly. Once you finish, I also recommend printing out Lawson's paper and taking time to read through that as well. You can find links to both of the papers down below. This is our history and just like the dark moments in the Old Testament, it is sad, it is disturbing, but it is our history and we need to have courage and just deal with it. As I've stated in other videos, this is not our fault. Almost all of the people who brought abortion into our church, they are all either dead or they are almost dead. We are a new generation that has inherited this mess and let us praise God that we are aware of this and that God is granting to us the opportunity to honestly face this and put it out of the church. Repentance is a beautiful thing and the sooner that we repent, the better. We all want progress, but if you're on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. In that case, the man who turns back soonest is the most progressive.